हेल्थी सोच डॉट कॉम इज प्लीज टू हैव फ्यू वर्ड्स विद डॉक्टर सुमीर दुबे ऑन वॉल सर्जरी सर एट वॉट स्टेज वॉल सर्जरी इज रिक्वायर्ड वेल वी हैव टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डायग्नोज एंड एक्ो कार्डियोग्राफी इज अ वेरी गुड वेरी गुड डायग्नोस्टिक टूल फॉर वैल्व सर्जरी mostly valve surgery is indicated when the patients become symptomatic and symptoms in have started interfering with their normal uh, life besides that any evidence when the heart has started failing or, or is moving towards uh, you know where it would manifest as heart failure this is time that one should intervene and replace the valves or repair them so please suggest some preventive measures for the heart valve disease patients well as as, as i have uh, mentioned in my first episode that the commonest cause in our country is rheumatic heart disease and here we have to be very careful that whenever children and other people get uh, infections uh, throat infections and they develop rheumatic fever these patients then should have a continuous surveillance and uh, a penicillin injection every month uh, for about till uh, for about 10 years or till the age of 25 years to prevent the development of rheumatic disease therefore a public program where patients who have rheumatic disease if they are given proper prophylaxis and do not get recurrent episodes and which can, which are then controlled then these patients may not develop uh, Sign, uh, you know, clinically significant valve disease. So, how many types of valves are available for replacement? Uh, basically, there are two basic kinds of valves. These are either mechanical valves or tissue valves. Uh, mechanical valves have great durability, but very important is that you need to take anticoagulants, a blood thinner, for your lifetime. Now. these valves one has to be very careful with anticoagulation of the blood thinners and one has to do regular tests and if this can be managed these patients can have a normal healthy life uh, you know next uh, 30 years 50 years as tissue valves uh, are made from uh, are are made from animal tissues natural tissues so they do not require blood thinners but the trade off is that they have limited longevity which can vary from 10 to 20 years so wherever so we recommend them mostly in elderly patients who are beyond the age of 65 years or patients who have any contraindications to anticoagulations or uh, have or, or women who are desirous of uh, you know uh, of, of pregnancy and uh, and increasing the family because anticoagulations have an issue with the the interfere with pregnancy and cause can cause birth defects so in those patients we pre- or in patients who have difficulty in uh, managing anticoagulation let's say patients who are from far fetched areas where it would not be possible to get blood tests or who are not um, educated enough to handle their medicines and last question what is the cost involved in replacement of the valve well the cost would uh, vary depending whether you're going to a private hospital or a uh, or a public hospital the cost of the prosthesis that is the artificial valve uh, approximately is about uh, 655 to 65000 uh, mechanical valves and tissue valves would cost you anywhere from about a lakh of rupees to about 2 lakhs of rupees Besides this, an eight-day surgical package in most hospitals and private hospitals would be somewhere in the range of uh, somewhere around approximately three lakhs in a shared category room. Thank you, sir. Thank you.